Hello everyone. I'm back with the second series under the ABCD of foreign trade. In the previous session, we learned many concepts of the trade practices going beyond national frontiers. We shall be continuing the same in this present session. So let us begin. Before beginning with it, into the Learn It Yourself series, I would discuss one very important thing is before ending this particular video, remember, sometimes later becomes never. So let the good time roll now. These are the terms that we shall be catering into the today's platter. First item back here that is being catered is very important concept in the international business terms as well as the domestic business. The break-even analysis, it is the point where the company recovers all the costs that it has incurred. So it is, the, it is so called the analysis of level of sales at which a product or the company's investment would make zero profit or the zero loss. This is the situation when the total cost becomes equal to the total revenue. The company is neither into profit nor into losses. Next term we have for discussion is carrier. Carrier is basically an individual or an entity that transports person or goods for comp compensation under the contract of carriage. The next is cash and is document process. This is a very common process that is practiced in international credit transactions. In, the, in this process, payment of goods in which a commission house or other intermediary transfers the title documents to the buyer and that happens actually on, upon the payment in cash. Now talking about the certificate of manufacture, that has become a, a statement, usually it is often not raised, in which a producer of goods certifies that manufacture has been completed, that the goods are now at the disposal of the buyer. Another certificate that has to be obtained not many times is certificate of origin. The certificate of origin is a document required by foreign countries for specific tariff purposes, certifying that the country of origin of specified goods. This is very prominent theory of international trade, the comparative advantage. It exists when a nation or economic region is able to produce a product at a lower opportunity cost compared to the other nation or a region. It is a type of letter of credit issued by a foreign bank and the validity is endorsed by another renowned bank. An exporter whose payment terms are a confirmed letter of credit is assured by the recognized bank which has better creditworthiness for the advising bank. However, this is the bank which shall be endorsing or will be taking guarantee of that confirmed letter of credit. So basically, the bank which will be giving guarantee on the issued letter of credit is called confirming bank. The consignment is delivery of merchandise from an exporter who is often known as consigner to an agent who is again known as consignee under agreement that agents sell the merchandise for the account of the exporter. The consigner retains title to the goods until the consignee has sold them. The consignee sells the goods for commission and remits the net proceeds to the consigner. So definitely we understand who is consignee. He is going to be the importer or the party to whom the goods are to be delivered. While going for international trade, you should always remember to own your rights and that is through copyright. The legal right granted to a distributor or a manufacturer or a creator to reproduce, prepare derivative works, distribute, display, sell, lend or rent their creation. Counter trade, very much similar to the barter. The sale of goods and services that are paid for in whole 
or in part by the transfer of goods or services from a foreign country. However, when it comes to credit risk insurance, so it is going to be the cover which is designed to cover all the risk of non-payment of delivered goods. This type of letter of credit actually provides for payment sometime after presentation of shipping documents by exporter. For example, when, if we have presented the documents after exporting the goods today itself at the negotiating bank or nominated bank, the bank will be making payment not after one day, not after seven days, but after the completion of the due date. And if it is 60 days, then payment will be made after the 60th day. Direct exporting, in which the marketeer takes the direct responsibility for its products abroad by selling them directly to the foreign customers or to legal representatives in the foreign market. Here, the instruction given by a shipper to a bank indicating that the documents transferring title of goods should be delivered to the buyer only upon the buyer's acceptance to the attached draft. Now we have two terms. One is drawer, who is an individual or firm that issues or signs a draft and thus spends to receive payment of the started amount from the drawer. However, the drawee is going to be the individual or firm on whom a draft is drawn and who owes the stated amount. Now, one thing that government is fearing of, that is dumping. Dumping is exporting or importing of merchandise into a country below the cost incurred in production and shipment. Not talking about economies of scale, very common topic, very generic thing, but of great use. It is when we achieve lower average cost per unit through a larger level of production. When a market is called efficient, so it is going to be called efficient in which prices are going to reflect all the relevant information that includes the market forces, the demand and the supply. Talking about EPCG, it stands for Export Promotion for Capital Goods. It is a scheme which gives the manufacturer facility for the import of capital goods that will be aimed at export production and this will be done at concessional rate of duty which is usually 5% against the certain level of export. EPC are the industrial parts designated by a government to provide tax and other incentives to the export farms. The export and import bank is available in every country. The main objective behind the existence of such a bank is to act as a catalyst and a key player in the promotion of cross-border trade and investment. Thank you for your attention. For continuous updates on the subject and similar things, like the video, subscribe the channel and tap the notification icon so that you are always updated. Till then, stay happy.